Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex. And have you ever wanted to have every character you own equipped with a CTP of Rage, but you don't have CTPs of Rage? Have you ever been filled with rage at the idea that you have all these characters to build who require a rage to pop off, but you don't have the rage to make them rage as they should rage? Well, fear not, because now you can make yourself a mini rage whenever you want. Featuring the brand new custom gears, Mini Rages, aka the Anger Proc, name still pending. I've rolled three of these today, and we're going to be testing them out on three different characters who, by most standards, do not work very well with a proc obelisk, and are not elemental damage characters, so they can't take advantage of a judgment CTP, which means that in all, you know, in most situations, a rage CTP is recommended for them, and if you don't have a Rage CTP, otherwise you would be screwed with those characters. But now, because of the new Anger procs, you are fine. And I actually rolled both types. I actually rolled all three of the different percentages. So I can show you all of those now. It's the yellow text that we're looking at here um, under the Extreme Obelisk in the middle. You have a 0.8% increase uh, of basic damage per 1% of dodge. And that can be dodge or crit rate. I happen to roll dodge on this one, but 0.8% is the lowest you can roll then 0.9 is the middle is the mid roll and you can see this one is not dodge it's actually crit rate and then the highest you can roll is one percent so the one percenter is the highest you can roll and that is one percent damage increase per one percent of either crit rate or dodge which means that these ctps cap out at a mass like a, a maximum damage increase of 75 percent because the maximum amount of crit damage crit rate or dodge you can have is 75%. It's not going to calculate if you're over 75%, and it's also not going to calculate crit, a guaranteed crit rate or guaranteed crit dodge. And you can see it says there in the text there, regardless of guaranteed critical rate. Uh, and that also means that you have the lowest at 60%. Uh, so there's not a huge difference, right? You get a 60% damage increase when this one activates, which we just take 75 multiplied by 0.8 and then you get a 75 there. So it's not like there's a massive difference um, between 60 and 75%. Like it is, you know, it's a 20% difference. You you do, you will feel uh, a little bit of it, or maybe it's a bit more than 20, but you, you sort of get what I'm saying, right? It's 20, 25% increase in the, in the amount of uh, buff it's giving, but it's still a pretty decent number. And this is really cool because the buff lasts for the entire five seconds and you can proc it every eight seconds. So it's not exactly the same as a CTP of Rage. Just be careful with that, right? Because CTP of Rage, you can see there the cooldown is every seven seconds. And if we go to one of the characters we're going to be testing today, no surprise here, Doctor Strange, uh, you can see there that it's seven seconds. So you do have to adjust your gameplay a little bit. If you're used to using the character with the CTP of Rage, you have to delay your next rotation by one second because the Rage CTP itself or the Anger Obelisk itself has a uh, eight second cooldown. But yeah, without further ado, this is how the, like, this is the new Obelisks and this is how you should use them. Free to play card set, go. So first up, we're gonna test Odin with a free to play card set with no Obelisk and with a you know mini Rage Anger proc uh, Obelisk. So this should be very interesting because Odin back in the day was used to clear uh, Null before Pierce was really popular but he needed a rage, right? And I actually tested him out with an obelisk or with a, an energy CTP, and he actually wasn't very good with it. He, he, he might've honestly been worse than he was with the rage. So it was actually pretty eye-opening to see that uh, happening. Cause he's just very hard to proc on, very inconsistent. Damage was too spread out, etc., etc. So we're gonna be testing him here. We're just gonna do a one minute run. Cause you know, the damage is, is pretty bad, but I wanted to highlight this rather than highlighting it with full pierce because I feel like with full pierce, you're not uh, necessarily getting the, the the picture, right? Players that are going to be enticed by the rage proc coming back, they're probably not going to have a ton of pierce, right? It doesn't really make sense uh, that that would be the case. So I think this more accurately uh, reflects what players are going to experience and what they can expect to experience when they go ahead and, and roll one of these obelisks and slap them on. So this is what Odin's doing here in, uh, we'll call it a minute 15. He gets to, he gets about 10 bars down in a minute 10. We'll call it a minute 10. He gets about 10 bars down. That's not good, right? Obviously at this point, he can't clear it. 
Well, a lot of people would say, yo, yo you got to work on your cards, bro. You got to get some, uh, you got to get some peers. Okay, for sure. I'll do that, bro. Uh, what else should I do to make my Odin stronger? Like, I really want to clear with Odin. Well, they would tell you to build other characters. They get, get Thor to level 72, whatever. But then they would go down here and they'd be like, bro, you don't even have a custom gear equipped? Oh, just give him a CTP of rage. Oh, I don't have that. Can I give him an obelisk? Well, he's not going to proc really well with an obelisk until now. So now we're going to slap on this uh, 0.8 percent dodge rate buff it also has ignore dodge and max hp which is quite nice um those were just the rules that i got i was obviously working with an ignore dodge base ignore dodge i think is the best base to work with for pve because it's so so good for world boss legend especially until you get uh, a lot of pierce so now he has 30 40 percent ignore dodge which is really nice and he's got that maxed out uh, or you get the 0.8 for dodge and he's got maxed out dodge i, I made sure to cap his dodge ahead of this test so that we could just jump right back in. I'm actually really curious to see how this goes because I've never tried it myself. This is this is like a live reaction for me, but I'm really curious to see how much stronger this makes him. Okay. Not bad, to be honest. Not bad. Uh, okay, there's that there. We're going to pop the tier three. Okay, we're off proc right now, but that's okay. I haven't played Odin in a while. It happens. It happens. He's got a really long accumulation, so we can kind of just bleed it over into the next one. Okay, we're going to do this. And do that. Pop the tier three. Pop the four. Nice. Okay. That's the uh, insight proc. All right. So... About almost 30 seconds faster, right? Or not tw 20 seconds faster. He's down to 50. He's down to 49. Okay. Got 10 more seconds. Pop off here. Nice. Pop the tier three. So that's not bad. He gets down. He gets down about four bars more. I'm actually curious. I think with this amount of damage, you could clear this stage. I'm not 100% sure, but with no pierce, and I don't even know if Odin... Holy cow, dude. I'm dying to the stupid-ass poison. I don't even know if Odin um, had really had a good time clearing this in the past um, because it's just it's, it's hard for him. <laughs> He's an old man. Nah, you know what? I don't think he can clear this now that I'm looking at the speed. Part of it has to do with the fact that even though he has all that ignore dodge, he needs the ignore dodge from his fourth skill to really pop off. And he actually doesn't really do that much damage unless it's with his fourth skill. He also uh, doesn't heal very well. He's dead, eh? Yeah, wow. So he still really struggles to, to get it done. But um, you can tell the amount of damage increase was pretty significant. I mean, four bars with no pierce and nothing else to really scale your damage. Um, is a pretty big deal. Now, the next test we're going to do is with Kingo with a 180% proc obelisk with crit damage. We're going to keep this no pierce uh, set rolling for the cards, and we're going to see how much worse he does or how much better he does when we switch from a 180 proc obelisk to a new anger proc obelisk. So now we want to see how an obelisk measures up to the anger proc, but we're going to sort of put it in the favor of the anger proc because generally, you're not going to give the anger proc obelisk to characters that can proc well. And on the flip side, like Kingo, you're not going to give a damage proc obelisk to a character that struggles to proc like Kingo. So as you can see there, we just triggered our next proc by accident. But it's sort of what you can expect. Like This is a very realistic simulation of what you can expect from a character like Kingo and like other characters who struggle to proc and so need that, um, you know, that rage CTP by default. But now... You don't need the Rage CTP anymore. So that's sort of the goal here is seeing uh, how long this takes and then measuring it versus the Anger proc where we're going to get that consistent flow of increased damage for the full five seconds so we can take advantage of all the animations that Kingo has, all of the skill canceling that Kingo has on the two, right, where you can spam uh, the two because of the buff that five gives you. There we miss a proc again. And again, this is not, uh, you know, this is just this is what you can expect. OK, so that's really good. We needed to test, uh, we needed to find a low enough stage where Kingo would get through the first phase um, in about a minute, right? Because we need to, uh, we need to know that, that Mephisto died because we can't see his HP. 
right? This is really, so that's really important. So that took a minute, right? About, about 58 seconds is how long that took with a 180 proc obelisk. I probably missed my proc on, you know, 80% of his rotations, but again, that's kind of the point of why we tell you to use rage CTPs on certain characters because they just don't work with obelisks, right? You can make them work, you can force it, but you're going to lose a lot of damage. You're going to leave a lot of damage on the table by instant canceling skills that you would rather delay cancel. So now we're going to destroy this 180 proc crit damage obelisk, and we're going to instead give him this crit damage crit rate 0.9% anger obelisk. So he's going to get a 0.9% basic damage increase every uh, eight seconds for five seconds based on one percent of his crit rate and we're just going to double check and make sure yes his crit rate is capped his crit damage is also capped we don't need to cap his dodge just keep that in mind um, because it's not a rage ctp okay we just need to cap whichever one is buffing him in this case it is crit rate crit rates capped we're good to go now we're back on the same stage let's see how much better he does that we can delay cancel and and properly set up all of his abilities we can cancel two and spam that a bunch of times to get a bunch of extra damage because now we uh, we have sort of access to the way that Kingo's supposed to be played. So let's check this out and see how much faster this is. I do expect this to be like 20 uh, odd. No shot. No shot. He's done. Wow, dude. This is so much better than the um, wow, dude. This is so, this is so much better than the Odin test. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's just keep going and see how much fast, like how much more damage he does in the same amount of time. No shot, bro. Like I figured it was going to be like 10, 20 seconds. It's 37, 35 seconds faster. Are you kidding me? This is huge, bro. And again, like some characters just do not work with, uh, wow, bro. He's flying. Holy shit. Now, keep in mind, there are, there are not that many characters that are like Kingo in the sense that uh, they uh, <laughs> they need a, a rage CTP this badly, right? Because they spam so much. But yeah, Kingo is one of those characters. And I also wanted to highlight Kingo because he is uh, part of the Eternal's Epic Quest and you can farm him for free, right? So unlike... Some of the other characters, like Odin, I know as a native tier two, a lot of people are like kind of rolling their eyes. They're like, Alex, I'm not gonna, we're not building Odin at all these days, brother. It doesn't really matter if he's, uh, if he's proc friendly or not. We're not building him. So yeah, I, I totally understand that. But uh, holy dude, this dude's flying, bro. He's flying through this and, and, oh, he survived. Holy. Bro, what the hell is going on? What the hell, bro? Mephisto just kept doing that shit over and over. He did like 17 times. Are you kidding my ass? Oh, kiss my ass, you bitch. That was so stupid. What a piece of shit. He did that shit legitimately like nine times. And he usually only does it like three times or four times. But yeah, that's a massive, massive upgrade for Kingo. Holy shit. He was like 35 seconds faster. That's crazy. So you sort of seen the good, you sort of seen the, the less impressive. Now we're gonna put this uh, anger at proc to the ultimate test. I don't expect it to, to, to keep up with a rage CTP. So just keep that in mind. But what I am very curious about is how much worse it is, right? How much, like, what are you gonna lose by going down from a rage to an anger proc? So for this test, cause I just cannot bear to have 0% pierce anymore. It's pretty torturous. We're gonna go back to 25% Pierce and we're gonna be testing Doctor Strange on a much higher level. All right, we're gonna go to stage 19 of Ultron, testing out how fast Doctor Strange can do uh, or how much damage he can do in the first minute. We'll see here. Maybe we'll do 30 seconds if a minute seems like it's gonna be too, um, too, too much damage, basically. If Doctor Strange is just gonna kill him, Pop off the tier three and then let it rip. We do, uh, the proc was super delayed there, which is kind of annoying, but it's okay. Yeah, so 30 seconds, we got down to about 19 bars. I also want to do 30 seconds because that's about how long it takes him to optimize the first time. I don't really want to sit through all this animate. Like, it's going to be really annoying to calculate all this versus, um, you know, so 19 bars, half 19 in the first 30 seconds. I thought that was really good. 
we're going to test out the other one a few times to see what the best result we can get is but first we have to spend the crystals to unequip this rage and then we go to the anger proc and it's all it's all relying on you buddy so it's a crit damage dodge obelisk with a one percent increase based on his crit rate so we need to make sure that his crit rate is capped it's not capped it's at 73 percent so we're gonna need to go ahead and cap it so we'll just quickly uh replace that hp uru with the crit rate uru and i believe there we go so now he's capped good to go let's jump back in there so yeah i fully expect this to be worse the thing we have to see is how much worse right that's really what we need to see here okay popping off all right not bad two bars not bad not bad not bad okay i got snared nice the it activated it's not bad I'm gonna pop the tier three. Oh, he moved out of the way. All right. Okay, not bad. Okay, we popped the co-op skill. Nice. Okay, I mean, I mean, it's not really right. I mean, we're already 30 seconds in, but this is pretty good, dude. So it only took me 12 seconds to 12 more seconds to get down to the same amount of damage and that was with my first tier three being interrupted i want to test this a few times here but this feels pretty good if you can roll them if you can get the max roll right because keep in mind with odin it was 0.8 with kingo it was 0.9 and now with doctor strange it's one percent right and so i wanted to put the i wanted to put the best one up against the rage because it makes the most sense but look at that he pops off for like two bars um with uh with the obelisk that's not bad at all dude that's not bad at all you get a little bit damage a little bit less damage on the rotation that has the uh the with that doesn't have the fifth skill because the fifth skill does a lot of damage but look at that dude look at that not bad 23 that's not bad so he's only he's less than four bars he's about three and a half bars off that's okay that when you put it like that it sounds it sounds a little bit worse he's He's doing about a third less damage, it seems like, because um, he did like 11 bars, just like 10 and a half bars. And now he's doing what? Um, seven and a half bars. So, he's, yeah, he's doing about a third. He's doing about 30 percent less damage. But that's not bad, dude, for for an obelisk. Right. That one didn't proc pretty well, so I lost about half a bar of damage. Yeah. Oh, and you got to wait as well. You got to wait an extra second. Right. I forgot. My bad. My bad. It's eight seconds instead of seven. I think that's the thing that throws you off the most is if you're if you're used to a rage proc every seven seconds, you have to wait an additional second. Now, this may have some unintended positive um, effect because there's there there are some characters who uh, have longer. OK, this is a really bad start. So as I was saying, some characters will actually benefit more from this because if they have a longer than normal rotation, waiting eight or nine or ten seconds for their big skill to come off cooldown this actually uh works sort of sort of for their benefit or it sort of just better aligns with their rotation now in the case of dr strange because his fifth skill has such a long cooldown it kind of doesn't matter um but sort of that's that's the case for dr strange specifically it won't be the case for everyone here uh let's go ahead and pop off this okay we did the co-op i'm not sure what he's doing okay so this is that this is this is a worse run which probably means that my other run there at 23 and a half was the best option. We're not getting good runs here uh, against Ultron, which is bound to happen because he moves around a lot like a bitch. But uh, but yeah, I'm actually I'm surprisingly impressed. I mean, this was always going to be a huge win for uh, low spending and free to play players. There was no version of this video that I was going to make where I was going to say, oh, this is trash. Never use this. Right. Like that. that's just never going to happen. Um, but just keep in mind, right? Keep, keep your expectations at a reasonable level and just keep in mind that this obelisk is not better than a proc obelisk for every character, right? If you have a 200% or a 180 proc obelisk, you're going to be able to do more damage, right? Have those big damage spikes with characters that can utilize them effectively, right? Now, how effectively a character can utilize a proc obelisk is going to range is going to range right it, it, some characters are 10 out of 10 effectiveness in how how well they can proc and some characters are a one or a zero in how effectively they can proc 
and it and it depends on the player who's playing them and it depends on how much patience they have and how much time they have to practice it etc etc so you have to make those decisions for yourself there is not really a one size fits all um situation and sort of measurement for this uh, we do try as content creators to give you guys advice on this like hey this character is more or less proc friendly than some other character and so you can okay judge based on that oh okay i played that other character from before so i remember there was like it was okay to play so this one's about the same more or less whatever but uh, for characters that are very frustrating to play with a proc like we already highlighted you know odin dr strange kingo venom etc uh, and who also are not elemental characters so that that's sort of like a key thing to note um you know hulk is probably a good example of a character that doesn't have a very fun or or good or consistent proc rotation um hulk would be an amazing option for this if you don't have him built for pvp already you could roll like something like an hp hp uh, anger proc right that would be insane because the crit rate and the dodge they just on the rage they just serve to amplify his damage they don't like the, the, the they just serve to amplify the damage right but because his damage is not based on his attack it's based on his hp if you had those first two stats instead of being crit rate and dodge if they were just hp and hp and then you had that percentage that could be a pretty crazy obelisk for hulk so now having more options for characters especially in the obelisk department is really really nice uh and then yeah just uh just good luck rolling those obelisks so hit me up in the comments down below let me know what you think of the performance of the anger proc thank you so much for watching smash the like button and i'll see you in the next one take care